In our wildfire watch, people are still being asked to avoid the area west of Bartlett Lake as fire crews continue battling the Wildcat Fire. The fire is now 23% contained. It's still more than 14,000 acres in size. Firefighters were able to make some progress Monday when a storm briefly rolled in. The Wildcat, uh, wildcat Fire is also threatening some native plants not equipped to endure the flames. Unfortunately, this puts the saguaro at risk as well. Meteorologist Jorge Torres talked to experts who say as fire season grows, so does the threat to the iconic cactus. It's the symbol of our state in the Sonoran Desert. No matter where you go in the valley, you'll see the saguaro standing tall, withstanding heat and drought for the most part. But the flames are too hot for them to handle, allowing for invasive plants to creep in. They're an amazing iconic species, so hopefully we can save some from this fire and, you know, save them into the future. In the Tonto National Forest, more than 14,000 acres of Arizona land, including Palo Verdes, mesquite trees, and saguaros, up in flames. A site that will likely be commonplace as our world continues heating up. As things are hotter and drier and there are heavier fuel loads, we're going to see them more frequently. But the saguaro and native plants like it aren't adapted to constant fires. In a study done by the U.S. Forest Service on two separate wildfires, more than 30% of saguaros post-fire that hadn't been killed outright died within 10 years anyway. When you have damage to a plant like that, it can make it more susceptible to disease and other issues beyond just the burns that it sustains. This allows invasive species like stink net, buffalo grass, and red brome to take over, according to experts from the Desert Botanical Garden, creating more problems for crews trying to contain the flames. The invasive plants can fill those areas that are normally between desert plants, which slows fires. Then it'll just go right across the landscape, and so it can burn faster, hotter, and be harder to control. The Desert Botanical Garden does have a group called the Desert Defenders, focusing on finding, mapping, and removing invasive species at local parks and preserves, lowering the risk of wildfires in the Sonoran Desert, and they're always looking for help. They have volunteer forces within those organizations that go out and they organize invasive plant pulls. We have information on how you can volunteer on our website, abc15.com. For Impact Earth, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15 Arizona.